what's up guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna be sharing my curly hair routine and how i go from this hair to this hair so to start off i'm just gonna get my hair pretty wet and then i start off with my shampoo here i'm using the no poo decadence by diva curl i also like low poo but just for this video i had only no poo left and this next step that I do here is my new favorite part of my hair routine I was sent this groove rejuvenating scalp massager by vanity planet and I've really been loving this product so it's a massager that vibrates and it's shower safe so I use it um, pretty much in the beginning of my shower routine so I'll get my hair wet I'll use some shampoo and I'll massage in the shampoo pretty much with the scalp massager um, and I really like this massager because one um, it kind of like wakes up your hair follicles and that promotes hair growth which I'm all about hair growth I just have to chop off a big um, part of my hair because I hadn't got a haircut in a really long time and my ends were not the business so I love this for hair growth one and it also helps lift this dead skin cells um, and just makes you feel so much cleaner I feel like this is also really good for when you have braids weaves extension any kind of you know extra stuff in your hair this really, really works well and my favorite part about it is it really just honestly feels so good to do it's like a little self head massager so what I do is I'll try to section off my hair so I can get to the root in each area and I'll kind of just massage it there for a few seconds make sure that the shampoo is working really well I'm getting in there and then I'll just like go around a couple times Another one of my favorite things about this product is the great quality you get for how affordable it is. And Vanity Planet is hooking all up with 60% off with the code NNGroove. So definitely don't forget to click the link in the bio to check it out. So next I'm just rinsing out the shampoo. I only focus on my roots because when I rinse it out is when it kind of catches the rest of my hair and the roots is really what needs the work with the shampoo. This here is Olaplex. I leave this on for about 10 minutes after my shampoo every two weeks. This is just to keep my hair moisturized from the blonde that I have. So now for my conditioner, I use the Diva Curl One Conditioner from the original line. I do a lot of conditioner, so this is just a small amount that I'm showing you for one little section of my hair, and then I'll go in about two to three more times with the same amount of conditioner. I start at my ends because that is the area that is the oldest part of my hair and they need a lot of attention so I kind of start towards the end and then I work my way up during this process I kind of finger comb my hair a little bit while I'm applying the conditioner to make it easier for myself when I am ready to detangle so to detangle, I use this Denman brush and again, I start at the ends of my hair and then I work my way up. I want to make sure my ends are nice and detangled um, before I start working my way up the entire head. So this is the last step of my shower routine. I'm just rinsing out all the conditioner from my head. And this is when I use a cool rinse. So I wanna seal the moisture. So I don't do it freezing cold, but I definitely, cause I normally like to take my showers burning hot, but I like to do a nice cool rinse and then I just squeeze the hair out, still leaving it pretty wet for me to style. 
So from my experience, what works best for my hair is to style it as wet as possible. So my first product that I use is this BB Curl Primer. I spray it everywhere and along with adding product to my hair, it also makes my hair um, more wet and easier to style. The next product is my favorite, the BB Curl Defining Cream. I use a ton of this and I rake it through everywhere. I get my hands super saturated in this and I just rake it through all of my hair, making sure that each curl gets a good amount. So the last styling product I use is this BB Curl Anti-Humidity Gel Oil. I don't like my hair to have too, too much hold, so I get a very small amount of this on the tips of my fingers. And then I like to flip my hair upside down and I kind of just scrunch it into my hair everywhere. So next, I like to take the excess moisture out of my hair to make it easier for drying and diffusing. So I just use an old t-shirt and I squeeze all that extra water out of my hair. You can use whatever you want. I like to use a t-shirt. Some people use microfiber towel, but definitely please do not use a towel that you bathed in because it is not good for curly hair. So after squeezing the excess water out of my hair, I like to let my hair air dry for at least 20 minutes and usually this is when I'll do my makeup. Um, I notice less frizz when I let my hair air dry before going right into diffusing. So I diffuse on high heat and low power. Again, this really helps decrease the freeze by the freeze. <laughs> it decreases the frizz by not having too much air blowing but also having hot air. So I'll diffuse for about 20 minutes and I really don't think it matters the kind of hair dryer you use. I mean, it's just air essentially, no matter which one you use. The important thing is just having that diffuser, especially if you have curly hair. So I think I got this for Christmas. Um, it was really inexpensive, this diffuser. I've had it for years, it works well. Um, my favorite part is just having that diffuser tip on there, it changes everything. So I like to diffuse my hair in all different directions so it doesn't dry just like a flat, one way, kind of stiff looking thing going on here. And you notice while I am diffusing, I kind of push my hair up at the same time because this is what creates value. My hair is nothing without this diffuser. It dries super flat, no body, no volume, no bounce. So for me, the most important part of my curly hair routine is this whole diffusing session. So my hair drying kind of takes place in three different parts. So after I put my products in it, I'll wait 20 minutes before I diffuse and then I'll diffuse for about 20 and then I'll get dressed and then diffuse for another five or 10 minutes. 
and doing this gives me the most volume while still giving my hair time to dry and not messing with it too much so you just see me diffusing a little bit more and then I like to take the diffuser off and kind of just run air through my hair to kind of give it a little bit more volume if I notice some parts are still kind of flat I'll go in with the diffuser again and kind of just lift those pieces up some more the last thing I do is I take my fingers and I kind of just like to scrunch up and give it some more volume and a little bit more body So the very last thing I do is I just comb out the baby hairs on the side where you can see my edges. So I just use this Eco Style gel and an old toothbrush. And that is the end of my curly hair tutorial guys. I hope you liked it and don't forget to click the link in the bio to check out the scalp massager.